at this juncture. We wanted to give people the certainty that those parts of our economy can safely re-engage um, on the 15th, and that will have had two weeks in between uh, changes. And that's really the, the period of time that, that makes the most sense. Going the next step into fully resuming into phase five, uh, we'll take a days, maybe a week, maybe a little bit longer after that. But this will look a lot more like normal when we when we get past the 15th. Well, today's big announcement gives personal care businesses between five and 10 days to get ready. Our Grant Herms spoke with local salon and gym owners today and uh, Grant, they, they have their work cut out for them. They really do. For weeks, salon owners have been spending their time collecting PPE and sanitizers, hoping to get ready, all while juggling bills, and now be ready for that influx of anxious customers. With just 10 days until they're allowed to open statewide, owners of hair and nail salons and other personal care businesses will have to hurry to meet state guidelines to lower the risk for customers. It's kind of cool. I'm a little so you put this on your head. And it's very it's comfortable, and it keeps it totally black from the clients. Lisa Shopko says she's been collecting supplies for weeks, trying to get her salon in St. Clair Shores ready for the influx of customers. We're real good on our sanitation. We're ready. Uh, you've seen our protocol before. Um, you know, we'll be checking the clients from the time they hit the door. So well, it's going to be strict for a while. But not on that list are gyms and fitness centers, which will be allowed to open on June 10th in the UP and Traverse City regions, but could be a few weeks until they're allowed to open statewide. There'll be three stations here and three up here, and then a safe zone for coaches. Tara Castro owns the Detroit Body Garage and says she had to shift virtual and outdoor classes, but is already planning on ways to be flexible as to when she can start classes again inside in the coming weeks. We have these boxes that are going to be between each mat. And we have the Clorox wipes. Each person gets their own mini trash cans. So you're not even sharing trash. Um, the coaches will empty that trash after every class. And then we have the local hand sanitizer that's made by Detroit Bus in drought bottles recycled. And as you heard a little earlier, the governor said that gyms and fitness centers could be reopening in the next few weeks. Right now, the thinking is that's about the 4th of July. In St. Clair Shores, Grant Herms, Local 4.